The next Peabody Award goes to Syria 2012. Intimate stories take us into the heart of that terrifying civil war. 20-year-old Rahaf Tanawi works as the school counselor. She knows that Syrian children have been damaged by the war. All their dreams to kill Bashar. The president of Syria? Yes, yes. Here, uh, not all the families, but a lot of them, always teaching his children, we have to kill them, to kill, 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 all the family of Bashar. But for children to think about killing is not something children should do. Sure, sure. So that's our jobs. We have to change these views. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome correspondents Deb Amos and Kelly McEvers. <laughs> Journalism awards are often about tragedy, and Syria's is profound. It's not that the country doesn't know about violence. Syrians will tell you that. Cain killed Abel on the mountain behind Damascus, and the city was already old when Mark Twain wrote about it. But these events will take a generation to heal. And I want to thank NPR for allowing us to document this tragedy. Thank you. It's getting harder to do our job these days in Syria. Every day people ask us, why should I tell you my story? What good will it do? After two years, more than 100,000 people, probably more dead, millions and millions of refugees, what good will it do? It's important to tell these stories, I tell them. You, you tell us your stories and we tell them to the world in the hopes that something will happen. But the world has forgotten us, a woman said to me once, and we won't forget that you forgot about us. I promise that woman that we won't forget her, that we will continue to tell her story. I want to thank the Peabody Board for supporting us in doing that, and NPR as well, for helping us keep that promise. I also want to ask you all, please, don't forget about Syria. Thank you.